So we already know that the Mugen train is going to be in the story mode, but I feel like it was kind of brushed over, you know. Let's slow down. Let's slow down and talk about it. Intro where you at? I do it again. Add it up. Add it up. Bankroll. Bankroll. Euro. Euro. Peso. Peso. Add it up. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? I'm interested to see how it begins. You know, the first piece of action that we saw was Rengoku basically defeating the demons that they were there for and nine times out of ten that's gonna be a cutscene because that train is too small to fight in you know i highly doubt that they'll make it playable even if it's just for the story i still doubt that they'll make it playable because it wasn't that important to fight inside the train but since it's not that long as far as an arc i feel like what they're gonna do is have that be a cutscene that it's gonna show them sleep and if it goes into the dream, it'll definitely be Tanjiro and possibly Rengoku, but that's the furthest I believe that it's going to go. It's not going to show Inosuke. It's not going to show Zenitsu's dream. If it even goes into the dreams, it'll probably go Tanjiro first, and then if they really want to, it'll be Rengoku. That's basically it for the dreams, and then it'll go into Tanjiro waking up and fighting Inmu. Now, Inmu has to be the trickiest part of the whole arc or the most the most confusing to me and the reason is because originally i was thinking okay when they were on top of the train and tanjiro was basically basically pushing towards enmu and he was constantly going to sleep and waking back up i was thinking okay that would be a cool quick time event but then i started to think more into it and them killing him like him and Inosuke slashing through the neck when he was combined with the train that 100% has to be a quick time event there's no way that's gonna be like a boss fight so Inmu has to be like a regular fight and I'm just curious to see how they're gonna do it like are they gonna make the train wide because <laughs> that's a small thing like they would have to make it big enough for it to be playable on you know let me know what you guys think about that but I definitely think that Emu is going to be a boss fight and then the quick time event is going to be them killing him. And, you know, they can't do both quick time events. It has to be some sort of, you know, regular play. But when it comes to Akaza, I was really hoping for a regular fight. But as you guys can see from the other parts of the story, it seems like the regular fights are going to be the no name demons. But everybody else that has a name is going to be a boss fight. And I'm interested to see how they're going to do that because he's perfect to be a regular playable character. Like Akaza's playstyle, he's really like ready to go. He's the most playable out of all the demons. You know, Susumaru, you know, she throws the balls or whatever. And then you have Yahaba with the arrows. Akaza is a straightforward brawler. Like, he has to be the most playable out of all of them. Him and the Spider Father. So, I'm interested to see how they're going to do that. Because, you know, he's going to be close combat. And it's not going to really seem like a boss fight. Unless they make it so obvious that, hey, this is a boss fight instead of just a regular fight. But I think that they should do like a regular playable character with high difficulty. That's what I was assuming that would happen. But let me know what you guys think down below. The Akaza versus Rengoku fight is very straightforward. So I want to see what you guys think about the Enmu fight. How are they going to make Enmu playable on top of a train? Like, I see both of them being quick time events, but they're not going to do both of them quick time events. It would probably be on top of the train, a regular fight, and then the quick time event would be him dying. But let me know what you guys think down below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy Hinokami Chronicles content, then you're one click away from treating yourself because there's a lot more coming from me. And yeah, peace.